somebody's hand pulled my shirt and told me you need to stop liking me. <laughs> Cause sometimes the rain comes to grow the flower. Sometimes the rain comes to drown it up. We must be covered from our creator. What it do, babies? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell right there at the very bottom. I know cringe worthy, right? But anyways, turn on your post notification bell right there at the very bottom. So before we dive into this video, I'd like to do something I always do, which is acknowledge new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Your subscription means a lot. So this is basically a story time on how somebody's son pulled my shirt and told me, you need to stop liking me. <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> so, for those who don't know me, sorry, my name is Monda. Let's dive right into this video. So, I was about nine years old. I know I'm very young to be having crushes. <laughs> dangerous. It's dangerous. So, I like this boy. For control we're gonna name him Jason his name starts with M but we're just going to name him Jason because it's easier to just call him Jason than to call him that name I might actually mess up and call him his real name so I went to Lusaka the capital city my aunt's house for a holiday and so my cousin introduced me to this guy who lived right you know like right behind their house it's like uh the my cousin's place is in woodlands near chris corner so the the streets in which her house is are like they're closed they've got like one big roundabout like one big like circle area that and then it's like enclosed so they are like houses okay you if you know what it closes you get what i'm saying if you don't know google what it is so so in the front there's a close and at the back of the house they had another gate it's a close so jason lived behind their clothes you know like the the street behind the house so we'd normally go there to play you know we'd have fun like you know just kids play hide and seek singing competitions and the like and they used to say oh you're so noisy like you make so much noise it's like I know because I actually really loved singing but I don't really like it as much as I used to like it then because people are really people okay just lost passion for it okay don't ask me anything concerning singing so hmm, we would go to his house play play so when I got home like I was love struck love at first sight I went to my cousin Okay, I'll just mention her real name. I was I went to my cousin Kumbo. I was like, yo, me and him are gonna get married one day. We're gonna have beautiful kids. We're gonna live in this big house. He's gonna have a nice job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Muchimba, you know what I mean? And so I was like, yeah, we're going to live in this very big house and he's going to have a good job. Like, I, like, honestly, guys, I think I was ahead of my years. I don't know. So I was like, um, we're going to live in this big house. He's going to go for work. He's going to come back. He's going to buy me this. He's going to buy me that. Some things that I will, that way I said, I'm not going to mention them here. I'm not going to mention them here. So, yeah, I said a lot of things. And so the next day, my cousin was so shocked that I went to tell her all that stuff about somebody I had just met. She went to tell like the girl that lived next door about it. Like, oh yeah, listen, Mara said Jason this, that, 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 that. E yo, Miguel could not keep a secret. My cousin's friend went to Jason's house, told Jason everything i had said yo the whole neighborhood in that clause like 
the kids from each house in that clause would come out to play with me and my cousin right ah <sighs> they came out that day yo it was wild they came out came to my cousin's house immediately i saw a crowd of people coming i ran into the house hid under the bed and they came by the window they were like hey Monda, come out we know you're in there jason wants to see you and i was like ah jay what now <laughs> Jason wants to see you. He wants to have a word with you. Then he's by the window. He's like, can you come out? I want to see you. I need to talk to you right now. Oh, mind you. I'm sure some of you are wondering, like, how old was Jason? I think Jason was, like, a year older than me. He should have been 10, if not 11. So then, hmm, these people, they came to the yard. They were by the window, like, Maude, you need to come out. Jason needs to see you. And Jason was by the window, like, I need to see you. I won't hurt you. Like, just come out. I just want to have a word with you. I, it's not like I'm going to beat you up or something. Just come out. And I was shivering under the bed like, oh my God, no, no, no. And then, like, the maid at the time told the guys, no, you guys need to leave right now. You can't be here right now. You need to leave. And they all left. They went to play. And most of the time, I wouldn't play outside the gate. Because I'd be so scared that Jason would find me and I'd get a serious beating. Yo! Oh! Jason, if you're watching this. <laughs> Miguel was scared. Extremely scared. So, one day my aunt did not go for work that day. My heart like, oh lord, can she please just go for work? And she didn't go for work and she's like why are you playing inside the house all your friends are playing outside so you need to go outside right now and i was like no it's okay i'll, just, I'll stay in the house i'll watch tv and she said maunda go play with your friends outside what's the problem and i was so scared that if i tell her she was going to smack me across the face because my aunt was so strict yo she was so strict like she didn't want any nonsense any drama like if you misbehaved she wouldn't like call my mom and be like oh my mother has misbehaved i'm going to beat her she would just smack you put you in line until you have morals and manners so yeah i went to play outside with my cousin we were playing outside the gates and we were making the, these crowns you make out of mango leaves with like pins from a cactus that you pin them and then it becomes like a crown like a leaf crown something small so we're making those i kept looking to the side like trying to see if jason came so i could run like so i could be alert and whatnot yo did that work mm -mm. so i'm chilling you know with my cousin and it came like the wind Woo. he just got there and he just grabbed me by my shirt like what were you saying what were you saying i was like huh huh like guys i was shivering i was not brave at that point in time i was just there like what then this girl one of the the girls that that like the girl that lived next next door she was in a in the in a tree she climbed a tree a mango tree and so she was shouting, Oh my god, you guys, Jason has finally caught Mona. You guys need to see this. Yo, everybody came out of their homes. Hi. All the kids came out from their homes, came outside. And Jason was like, Don't you ever say what you said again. I never want to hear you say that again. And then I was so scared. Then he let go. Then I looked around, everybody was laughing like, Oh, I was so scared. <laughs> I rushed into the yard, closed the gate behind me. I went to the room, hid under the bed, and I started crying. <laughs> and I started crying. I was so scared. My aunt just saw me bought into the bedroom. And she's like, what's wrong? She must, she must have thought I was rushing to go to the bathroom or something. Yo, after that, did I ever want to go outside to play? Like when I'd see him, I'd be so scared. Hi, Fanta. Hi. Like I'd be so scared, you guys. I'd be so, so scared. And then sometimes I'd bump into him in the street. And 
it wouldn't be such a big deal you know like i'd actually talk to him like hey because he knew i was so scared of him he'd always threaten me he'd always be like like he's going to dick me like oh my god like i was going to get a beating you guys so being young guys so yeah but now as at now we're actually very good friends very good friends he calls me a whole queen like i'm a queen ah hey 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 ah. i normally make fun of him like remember when you dragged me by my shirt and told me not to like you remember and he'd be like ah no you know I, I, like i'm grown like i was young then but i'm grown now like mm -hmm. yes you are <laughs> But guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell at the very bottom. Don't forget to leave a comment, tell a friend, tell a friend, and just share. Help a girl out. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Peace.